Hello, today I'm going to show you how I export images from Illustrator. I have these four images here and they are all in different artboards. Although this also works if you only have one artboard in your file. Artboards are important because they are involved in how the images are exported. To check your artboards, you can go to document setup, edit artboards, or you can also, I'm going to press ESC to exit this mode. You can also go to the artboard tool or shift O to check your artboards. So to export, go to file, export and export for screens. This is the method that I use, my personal favorite, although there's other ways to do it. Here in artboards, you can see all of your artboards and this is why I say they are important for exporting. So here you can see that I have all of them selected. But maybe you only want to export one of your images, so you would go here to clear selection or click, unclick to see the check on only the images that you want to export, for example. Then down here you can select the resolution or the scale. You can also input a number. For example, if I wanted to print my artwork, I would export at a minimum of 300 dpi. Or if I wanted it more for web with a smaller size, I would ups, uh, export at 72. And here you can choose the type of image. Normally, um, if you want a background, you would choose JPEG. And for a transparent background, you would choose PNG. Although here, as you can see, I have a colored background. So even if I export as PNG, it will still have a background. You can also choose to export as SVG, so a vector file, or as PDF. I'm going to export the cat image as an example as PNG and at 72 dpi. Here you have the names of the artboards, so you can rename them before you export the file. So I'm going to name this cat, and then I click export artboard. And then on my explorer, I will have the file here named cut. I can also drag it back into Illustrator and you will see that it's not editable at all. It's simply a PNG as compared to this other one, which is still a vector. And this image, even though it's a PNG, it still has a background. It's not transparent. To remove the background, you have to create an image without the background within Illustrator. What I normally do is to have the background on a separate layer as the image. So here you can see that I have two layers, one with the backgrounds and one with the faces. So usually what I'll do is hide. So I click on the visibility for the background layer. And then again, I go to file, export, export for screens. And then I can export the cat image. I'm going to actually rename it to transparent so that it won't overwrite the other one and click export. And here I have my other PNG. And this time when I drag it in, you can see that it has a transparent background. This only works for PNG, not for JPEG. So if I export this one again as JPEG, even if it has no background, it will give me a white background, as you can see. One of the best things about this way of exporting is that you don't need to export the images one by one. You can do them all at the same time. So again, go to file, export, export for screens. And then you can select here all your images or a range of artboards. So I click on all, I select my settings and then let's do PNG. And then I can export all of the artboards at the same time. I don't have to do them one by one. One more thing to consider with the artboards export method is that Illustrator will always export the image with the space around it defined by the artboard. So let's imagine that I want to export this image, but I don't want any space around it. I could do it in two ways. Let me duplicate this artboard. I'm doing it with Alt, click, shift and drag. And one of the things that I could do is make this image take up the whole artboard so that there'll be no space around it. So when I go to export again, it will export it without any space around it. 
the other way that I can do it is to simply select what I want to export, go to File, Export Selection, and then here I select my settings just like the other method. I can give it a name and export asset. And here it is, also with no space around it. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.